Welcome all to the next topic, the transgenic animals and their use. What is a transgenic animal? A transgenic organism or an animal will contain a gene that is introduced from another organism which is transferred to this organism by a technique called as transfection. So the gene that is introduced by transfection is called the transgene. This introduced transgene can either remain independent or, or it can be introduced as a uh, directly into the cell or it can be integrated into a viral uh, vector and introduced into the animal cell. So, any organism that contains genes or genomes that is introduced by another technique of from another organism by a technique called transfection, this introduced gene is called as transgene and this transgene can be either uh, introduced that is as a naked DNA or it can be integrated into a vector then introduced into the animal cell. Transfection can be permanent or temporary that is it is uh, not if it is not uh, permanent it is called transient if it is permanent it is called stable. Okay, so in transient transfection, the introduced gene may be lost from the daughter cells which have been transfected. Introduced in the gene, transgene method in transfection. That is within a period of time, if that transgene is lost, that is called a transient transfection but if the change is permanent that is the transgene may be integrated into the genome of the organism in such a case it is called stable transaction that is transfection now transgenesis is a very powerful technique for studying the uh, many problems in mammalian gene expression and it is also very good for establishing animal model system for animal diseases. You can also produce uh, pharmaceutically important proteins in the milk using the mammary gland as a bioreactor. Now what are the objectives of gene transfer? Why do we need to transfer the gene from one organism to another? Okay, let's add. One organism, where the organism is like a gene transfer. The gene is transferred to obtain the protein coded by them. This is for, this gene modification is also done for improving milk, meat, wool production to increase their efficiency in utilizing food. It is uh, transferred to animals in view that the protein encoded by the gene can be utilized for gene farming. This technique is called gene farming by utilizing animals as bioreactor. It can be used in gene therapy. That is if there is a defective gene. Normal gene can be introduced in place of the defective gene to cure certain diseases. You can also create special transgenic animal strains that can fulfill certain biomedical needs. It Suppose a person does not have uh, insulin, if the person is suffering from diabetes and has no insulin, then this insulin can be secreted or they can be produced uh, and secreted in the milk of uh, any animal that we are you know, uh, producing by transfection that can be utilized for the production of insulin, clotting factors and such enzymes or hormones. 
so these animals react as bioreactors so in some cases we can introduce uh, the normal gene into a cell which has a defective gene this will help in uh, gene uh, that is uh, curing certain genetic diseases this is called gene therapy or you can in, uh, produce entirely new organisms of uh, you know uh, certain characters which are um, which will suit our biomedical needs etc such as knockout mouse etc now let us look at the what are the different techniques by which you can transfer a gene from one organism to another now you know that uh, transfection is the transfer of genetic material from one organism to a cell by the use of certain chemicals you can do that by uh, physical methods also they can be transferred and also with the help of organisms we can uh, biological methods can be um, these um, transfections can be done if you are using chemical there is either calcium phosphate method or um, DEA method then there is uh, the use of liposomes etc now if we are doing a physical method of transfer we utilize electroporation then dna micro injection shotgun method etc and if you are using other organisms like viruses it's called the uh, biological process so there are many ways of uh, transfections first one is calcium phosphate method here the dna preparation is used for transfection it is first dissolved in phosphate buffer calcium chloride solution is then added to the dna solution this leads to the formation of insoluble calcium phosphate which co-precipitates with dna calcium phosphate dna precipitate is added to the cells to be transfected the precipitate particles are then taken in by the cells by phagocytosis 1 to 22 percentage of the cells get transfected by the method ഇത് വളരെ സിമ്പിൾ മെത്തേഡാണ് ആദ്യം നമ്മൾ സെല്ലിനെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഡി എൻ എനെ ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യും ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ബഫർ വെച്ചിട്ട് ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യും ഡിസോൾവ് ചെയ്യും ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വി ആഡ് കാൽഷ്യം ക്ലോറൈഡ് വെൻ കാൽഷ്യം ക്ലോറൈഡ് ഇസ് ആഡഡ് അലോങ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡി എൻ എ പ്രസിപ്പിറ്റേറ്റ് ദിസ് കാൽഷ്യം ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ഓൾസോ പ്രസിപ്പിറ്റേറ്റ്സ് ന വെൻ യു ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ദ സെൽസ് ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റേജ് ദിസ് കാൽഷ്യം ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഡി എൻ എ ഇസ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് precipitated that will be transfected into the cells next method is deae or dextran mediated transfection what is deae it is diethyl amino ethyl dextran it is water soluble and polycationic that is it has many positive charge or it is multiple it has multiple positive charge this deae is added to the transfection solution containing dna this deae dextran brings about the dna uptake by the cell through endocytosis because it interacts with the negatively charged dna molecule and also with the cell surface components this procedure is highly you uh, suited for transient transfections in molecular studies so this is the structure of deae this is uh, combined with dextrans and this is uh, forming a sphere spherical vesicle and along with the dna it is taken up by the cell by endocytosis and then it will reach uh, it is transfected in the into the cell next is lipofection the delivery of the dna into cells using liposomes lipid vesicles so that is liposomes they are a very small vesicle formed from a suitable lipid and the required dna is contained within the liposome so the delivery of dna using liposome is called lipofection The cationic liposomes have single lipid bilayer membrane and they bind to the cells efficiently. 
liposomes interact with dna spontaneously and fuse with the tissue culture cells and facilitate the delivery of the dna into the cell it's very simple technique and highly reproducible and very efficient than many other methods so they fuse into the with the plasma membrane and they are deliver the dna into the cell that is a method of transfection you can see this here dna along with the liposome is forming a lipoplex this is taken up very easily by the cell membrane by endocytosis this enters as an endosome then the uh, dna is released uh when the endosome mix up with the lipid mixing so this is what happens inside the cell and this is one of the best methods of transfection it's the ideal choice for transfection of mammalian cells in vitro it has also been used to deliver dna into live animals by direct infections or intravenous injections next method is electroporation here in this method the cell is mixed with the dna and then briefly exposed to high voltage for a few milliseconds when the cell is exposed to electric pulses minute pores appear in the cell membrane cell il chale pore this is small openings that uh, develop in the cell which is only temporary openings this through this uh, pores the dna will enter into the cell to enter into the cell the treatment of the cells with colic semide uh, before they are electroporated the increase of frequency of transfection and it it this is more likely due to the arrest of cells at metaphase and um, associated absence of the nuclear envelope this facilitates easy transfection so this minute pores are formed when there is an electric impulse which is given applied to the cell the pores allow the gene to enter into it and uh, after the electric pulse uh, is released or it is stopped the pores reseal and the gene remains inside the cell that is how the method of uh, transfection is uh, uh, does take place uh, by electroporation next interesting method of lipo of uh, not the the transfection is the help of uh, with the help of virus is called as retroviral infection retrovirus means those uh, virus which have rna as genetic material which is enclosed in the protein coat called capsid the rna viral genome contains long terminal repeats at the 5 prime and 3 prime end carrying promoter and terminator sites respectively in between the are the there that is in between the 5 prime and 3 prime end there is a gag region for coding for core proteins viral core proteins and p pole pro, that is pole gene for the enzyme reverse transcriptase and env for the outer envelope and a non coding region called sy region the packaging signal for directing the assembly of the rna in forming virus particles the during infection the rna genome of the retrovirus is injected into the cell and it is converted to dna by the enzyme reverse transcriptase the viral dna is integrated into the host cell as provirus the transcribed dna also serves as the mrna for the synthesis of viral protein the viral rna and protein are assembled uh, in a process called packaging to generate new retroviruses and the retroviruses are infectious and must be modified to be suitable for the introduction of therapeutic genes first recombinant provirus dna is constructed by deleting viral genes in the provirus so whatever the viral dna that we are using first of all it should be non pathogenic so that is what we should be uh, that is uh, the main uh, thing that uh, is to be 
taken into consideration while using a retrovirus other than that all uh, that it contains all the proteins and other enzymes for replication